All right, I'm back. Let me pop out chat. Hopefully everybody, that other one, I think. All right, everybody a minute. If you're watching the recording, you just need to run it forward just a little bit. Let me send Shauna a message and she can tell everybody over there if they're still. Get rid of that to live. So hopefully they're not still in the other room. And now starting to see the room start to fill up. But I'm not seeing any chat. Hi again, Eileen. Hi, Kathy. I don't know why the internet went out. I sent Shauna a message, so hopefully the people over there realize that I ended it and are coming over here. But they're not still there. Yeah, Shawnee got the message. So if she's over there, she'll tell everyone. It just like the internet was cut out. Hi, Mindy. Okay, I know there was buffering, so I'm going to... I'll just retell everybody. I'm going to work with some of the rounds again today from Naria. And this company is not out of Australia. They're out of Mumbai, India. Very nice. I had a really nice, they uh, sent me a message on Instagram and we talked back and forth a little bit. I really like their paper. It's not as slick as you both. It's very much like the Graphex opaque, but I like the different sizes. They have six inch rounds in two thicknesses. They have nine by 12 and 12 by 12 and today and tomorrow on Amazon, they are 50% off, which makes the thin rounds $4, the slightly thicker rounds $5, the nine by 12 was six and the 12 by 12 was eight. I think I ordered all three at 50% off. They also have a big roll that is 40 inches wide and five meters long for $60. And that includes shipping anywhere in the world. The $60 is a flat rate. The thicker, the, the heavy, the bigger, the number, the bigger, the ML, the thicker. So Vicki, just a second. They have two thicknesses of the round, but they're not a very big difference in thickness. Um, give me just a second and all. I ordered the thinner. I ordered they have two thickness, two seventy five microns and three thirty microns. I ordered the thinner one, which is four dollars. I don't find that the it makes a difference to me. They don't buckle. So I ordered the thinner, which is 275. The lower the number, the thinner the paper. Yeah, so 50% off is a great price. So when you look on Amazon, You'll see the 
the price and then there'll be like a little coupon thing that you click in the box before you put it in your cart. Now the roll that they have is not on sale. It's not on Amazon. If you're ordering the roll, you have to order it from them and you can do so on Instagram using PayPal. And like I said, the roll that they sell is 40 inches wide, five meters long. So I am going to get that eventually. Um, it's $60 shipping worldwide. And that includes the cost. It's $60 flat. That includes your shipping anywhere in the world. And they are out of India. So here's their information. Let me. I'm just going to focus that close up. I can't. This is not watercolor paper. It is like Yupo. But it's not as slick as Yupo. It's more heat resistant. Um, you can color pencil on it. It doesn't stain. Most of the colors don't stain. Now, there are some colors. Pinatas will tend to stain everything. Hi, Button. And hi, Beth. Thanks, Shauna, for letting everybody know. So, it's very similar to the craft plastic. And this goes by GSM. So, I don't know how it compares to thickness. Like, I don't know how the two numbers compare, to be honest. Because they're using, this is 2.75 microns. And this is 0 0.010 inches or 200 GSM. Janet could take her little thing and figure it out. But I thought that was a really good deal. I really like the paper. I like both the opaque graph. But this I can only get in 12 by 12 right now. This, so um, this is a little bit less expensive. Not at 50% off by any means. But normal price, this is slightly less expensive. This falls in the middle. And the Yupo is more expensive. When I did the price per square inch, and calculated the price per square inch. This file in the least expensive. This is in the middle of the road. But these are very, very close. This is a little thicker than what I bought. But they have a, a thicker version of this. But the thickness does not in any way affect me. They don't have the shapes. Right now in the opaque, they just have the 12 by 12. So I liked the rounds. I don't want to cut rounds. But it is not. I mean, could you put watercolor on it like Patty does? I'm sure you could. But I don't like watercoloring on Yupo because it just slides right off. So buffering again? We may just have buffering today. So that's my little enabling spill. Um, the other thing is I was going to put these on these wooden rounds, which I thought when I ordered them were six inches, but they're not actually six inches. They're like five something. Yeah, it just might... Yeah, I've done watercolor on Yupo before too, Vicky. I just don't like it. Patty does it all the time. I just don't prefer it. It's not what I like. That's just my opinion. Patty uses it all the time. 
I just don't like the way it lifts and moves. Um, Shauna did a watercolor. Well, she didn't do a watercolor. Shauna did the inks on a piece of craft plastic. But again, the same kind of thing. I don't like how it moves. I would rather do the inks on this and the colored pencil for the detail. If I want detail. Yeah, Doc. It, my internet went out for some reason. I don't know why. So because these are the wrong size, that, that's my fault. I should have ordered the original ones I found that were, I know for sure, six inches. I'm See, there's a little bit of overhang. Not a lot, but I don't really want to trim that off. So I thought about taking and putting some acrylic on this and then do an ink on top of the acrylic. So I thought we could, and I would use up some of that satin that I have that I'm not super wild about. And kind of, I'm trying to use it. I'm trying to find ways to use it up. It's, I mean, it's okay paint. I just don't care for it. So I thought I could just brush a few of these, let them dry. And then we could try the inks on the, I've done the ink on a canvas on paint. But I'm going to start with, I want to use light colors because I want the inks to be able to and you could probably do it on the wood um, if you put like a clear coat or something. But I like the idea that we could start with a color, a background. And this is a satin, so it should um, stop some of the absorption. And I'm just going to get um, true six inch rounds. For these is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to paint both sides. Why I'm using the table craft mat when I could just put it on the wood. And we'll let these dry and we'll try some of the ink. and foil on the wood, the disc, just as they are. I wish someone, if you're listening out there, would um, come out with like a decent priced pack packaging of uh, mats, for round, not that your paper wasn't round necessarily, that you could have a round mat, but the ones I've seen um, are like three and four dollars each there, and I don't think they're really that thick. They're they're very custom, more or less. But I wish they would come out with, then you could, uh, like a standard size, but a round cut opening in the mat. I'm just going to do three of these. And then we'll let them sit. We'll do something and then we'll. I'm going to use those rounds. And then I'll just get back on and order the original wood pieces that I found that were actually cut six. They just didn't have a dozen in the packaging. That's why I went with these. And I missed the fact that they're like 5.75 or something like that. Yeah, the mats that 
they're not round mats, but they have a round opening. And they tend to be square too. And I wish they would just make like a five by seven with, well, no, like a, I don't know, an eight by 10. You can start to get square frames more readily, like eight by eight frames and 12 by frames, 12 by 12 are starting to be more standard. But I want somebody to like sell me the back the mat with the round opening and the bag. I like to buy it all so I can just have it ready to, I don't frame very much because people frame things. I'm going to make choices and that wouldn't be their choice. So I tend to put stuff in a mat and bag it and sell it that way. I don't have to deal with glass, carry it around. But yeah, like six, for the six inch. So if they had it just slightly under. Okay. Get all of those somewhere drying. Put that in the water. We'll come back to those later. <clears throat> I should probably do some acrylic pours sometime soon again and use up some more. I got to get rid of some of this paint that's in the studio before it all starts going bad. Yeah. The only thing is the cake board's not archival. Cardboard's not archival. And the mat board is archival. That's the only issue with the cake board. Though, if you think about it, what's in a lot of the frames is not always archival, like the cardboard in the back. Okay, that should work. Keep me from transferring paint too badly. All right, I thought I really, really liked how that sort of stained glass kind of came out. Um... So I do want to try to duplicate that on a couple of them, maybe. But the other thing I wanted to try is I've seen people, they get all of the, like one color just sort of concentrated on the half of the, the, the bottom half. Plug that in. Switch around some plugs here. So uh, for that, I don't want to use the Marabou. So I think we want to use one of the inks that I diluted. I'm thinking the Baja Blue that I diluted. Yeah, but if I'm going to sell something, I I tend to try to package it archival. That's all is I'm saying, Dot.
All right, and I have my air compressor that I'm going to use. Since I switched the carts around, I can't find a good place to keep the paper towels. I think I need to get a paper towel holder to put on the edge of the cart. All right, so I'm going to put quite a bit down at the bottom. And just sort of work it. Try to get it too. So far, not super impressed. I've heard it was a, a hard technique. And they get it, it looks like waves. I try more, more air. Again, I'm it's just where I see people that get this color just stacked at the bottom and it looks in layers, but I'll show you one on Instagram if I can find one, but I'm not getting it. Let me see if I can. What they usually get, Kathy, is just these waves of lines going one direction. And then like right here, there'd be waves of lines. I can probably achieve it better with a marker, in my opinion. But like you would come in here and put marker. going one direction 
let me find a, another color that that's a closer match with both of those. Now I've managed to do it better with a paintbrush. So then what you would do is you would take a paintbrush and alcohol. Oh, well, you wouldn't do that, which I don't care if I did. You would get it wet and you start moving the ink up in layers. And you can get these ribbons of ink. And somehow they're doing it with poured ink, which I have not managed to do. To be honest, I need, there's a new book I want to get that I need to, that I want to buy. So see how I'm kind of getting those lines? All right, and then I would take, and then come this way. Across and then you could take oh, well, no wonder I'm getting ink everywhere. That's leaking. My cap had a, my little container had a hole in it. So that's kind of the idea. And then it kind of moves. I do want to whisk. I do want to rough. I'll get my lines back here in a minute with the brush. Let me let that dry just a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to come back in with my brush and get some of those lines back. In there. Let's let that dry. Now they do it way more fluid than I'm. This is not really how to do it. 
I'm just trying to Think of like a wave kind of crashing. If that does that make sense? And I think I'm happy with what I have there. The only thing I might do is see if I can get any of the foil to stick to it. I'm gonna use the silver. And there may not be enough ridges built up. I got a little. I could probably get. More of a build up. That gave me more lines too. I got alcohol in here. I need to. Okay. Let me let that. Dry up and then we'll. That's the look I was going for. It was not the technique, like the methodology. I'm getting there a different way. I don't, like I said, they're just doing it with the ink. Same with the roses. I somehow don't have enough control with the fluid inks to get always what I want. So I need to go in and watch. Some more videos. But that put, do you, can you see the little silver lines? But I kind of like the fact that it looks like a wave crashing on top of a wave. Okay, so while we're in that wave zone, Maybe we should try to take the circle and just do a wave. Okay, so I'll put some paper underneath this. All right, so I'm going to take my light blue marker and I'm going to create. like a horizon line. And then I think I'm going to take, and I'm just, the way the wave is going to go right in here, but I'm going to make it more turquoise. Okay. And then I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take this cool Perry, which is one of my favorite colors for sky. I'll get that line back in there in a minute. I want to create like a wispy sky. I like when you dilute this how you can really get some cloud type look formations. It's one of my favorite colors. It's a ranger. So that kind of works for a sky. Let's get that blue waterline more firmly in there again. Okay.
come in with that more green. Turquoise color. So that's the marker. Now I'm going to come in with some, just some alcohol. And let some of that blend and bleed. And then I'm going to come in with some of that blue that we used before. That diluted Baja. We'll get some white in there in a minute. I think that can go to the edge here. All right, so I'm going to dry that real quick. So I think that's a pretty good base. Hi to anybody who came in. Wanna hi Kimberly. Anybody that's just watching and working or lurking, Lena, Shauna, you might be watching but not talking because I know you don't feel good, Mama. Okay, I'm trying to get more of that line work in. I'm going to go with the brush. And sort of push the inks around a little more. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Oh, the one thing I am going to do is I want to come in and I need to soften this. Clean that up just a little bit. All right, I'm going to try some white real quick. In here, some of the Blanco. The pinata. These are kind of like the metallics. Um, they're a mixative in the Ranger. It's pearl, I believe, in the Ranger. And it's Blanco in the pinata. This one has a pearl iridescent. So let's try a little bit of that. in some areas. I'm wondering if this iridescent pearl isn't a lot like the rainbow in the marabou, which we can also use a little of. Oh, and that's a good idea. I'm, I'm going to add some marabou inks into this in a minute.
adding some white in here. And then I'm going to come back with the brush and kind of connect and move some of those lines and maybe straighten out where we have drops or it stopped and started. I want to turn this around real quick. Now this is, uh, the white makes it really sticky. So if I were to go with the foil, let's go ahead. I'll probably get quite a bit of foil and then I think I'll put some color on top of that. I don't want to put the silver up in the the water. In fact, I got okay. I'm gonna put some. Now, when you put the ink over the foil, you sometimes, uh, the foil, you get the real pretty color of that. It almost looks like turquoise foil if you do. And I'm going to use this Marabou. I'm going to use two Marabou colors in there because they won't move a lot. So they might be really good choices for this technique. I want some blue in there, but I'm going to add some of the turquoise. And I think I may add some rainbow. Two, and I'm going to come back in and do some brush work with the alcohol. Okay. And the key with the marabou is to sort of let it sit. Give it time. And I'm going to hit it with that silver again in a minute. And then I'm going to check chat. Let's try some more of the white. Just on top of that.
and alcohol will kind of shatter it a little. Okay, I think that one I'm done with. Yeah, Shauna, you just rest and take it easy, honey. Yeah, the duck is adorable. Hi, Josie. I haven't sketched mine yet. I'm going to put it on watercolor paper, and I'm going to do it in watercolor. Okay. So I have to say I really like the marabou when you're trying to, like, get lines. And then if you kind of soften it and it goes over the foil, I like that look. So I'm happy with this one. So it gives me two that are kind of water-ish in that vein. I will tell you that you if you add some of that stuff like this white and the pearl, make it really sticky. Um, okay. Let's put the, let's go away from the Baja Blue. Let's go to the Deep Olive. Let's use, this is the art one or whatever it is. It's the fake Bria Reese. I took it out of the bottle because I didn't like the bottle. All right. So what do we want to do? Let's do some. Let's do some all over green and we'll soften that. I'm just putting some alcohol in there so we can move it more. interest in there maybe and dark spots and light spots I think that needs to be moved in and then let's come back in I want some more dark in there Okay, so let's have that be our base. Let me put the green away. And I think I'm going to use the marabou's maybe to try to I want some like now I want circles in some areas. So Let's try first putting in alcohol and letting those kind of clear out some of the green. Because sometimes that'll help when you go to use your other color. Like that cleared out really well there. So that's two. Let's put one up here. Let's 
It's hard to have two circles. Okay. So that'd be like one, two, and a big one right in here. Let's try this. Let's push that green. Like you would a portal, sort of. Okay. So what color do we want to use? My first instinct is orange, like tangerine. This one needs help. This one's got green in there. We need it. I'm not getting circled as much as organic shapes, which is fine. Um, I should come in with, I'm going to go silver. No, I'm not going to go silver. I'm going to go with, um, not rose gold, the, the sterling, the gray, the darker. I'm going to go with this foil. I need to get that on that green. Probably too wet in some areas. Oh, back up. Okay, so now what I need to do is come in and clean up because my foil transferred some stuff that I don't want. You'll see if I have a clean white. And I got green over here I don't want. I think I'm going to move some of that more out since we're going more organic. It's the problem with dirty ink on your hands. But you can see it doesn't stain and it cleans up really well. I liked that blue with it though. So let's put some more of that in here. I kind of like some of the tangerine in here. I'm just trying to get some. Since it's not going to be circles, we'll go more organic. Mm. 
right now. Hold on. Get this to kind of flow a little. Hi, Judy. Okay. Clean up a little more of that. I think I'll take that green. Get some of that green out of that bottom. Okay, let's take and sort of soften that and let it kind of let it kind of gravity help clean it. And I think I'm actually going to come across here with some more. of that. And then hit it with the gun. Now that's starting to look like like land. If I turn it, now that starts to look more like land. And I think I want some blues in there. Not real dark blue. Just to, I think I want some blues in there. That may have been too turquoise. We'll get it to... I'm going to put some of the alcohol on the green so I can kind of get those to blend a little. So there's just like some sky peeking out in places maybe. Trying to look more like a landscape to me. Let's go ahead and finish that up right there. Let's come in with some of the caramel. Let's see if we can't add some interest to the bottom. And then let's go 
darker brown. I really like the browns in this set. Now we we'll go even darker brown. And come back maybe to this lighter color that get a mix in there. I don't like that circle. All right. And then up here, I think I want to put that. Vanilla here with some alcohol because I think it'll soften and almost blend the some of that blue, some of that vanilla. Get some alcohol and kind of let them blend. I'm trying to move some of that orange down in there. Okay, let's go. Get some of this side with the blue. I'm trying to get it to look like that's the sun. Let's put the blue right in here and some alcohol right here. Let's see if we can't push. Tangerine. That's the vanilla. Hi, Azure. Right, let's see if we can get some of this to stick. In there, and in there, and I'm going to put some brown in it in this area. It looks more like rock, and super dark brown. Put some vanilla in here and some of the, the brown. Get that to look more like stratosphere. Land. Now oh, there's two sheets of this. That's why it's Now I'm going to take some and add some color over some of the foil areas. I'm 
blot some of that's going a little. I'm going to work on this and get that to do what I want it to do in a little bit. Get a mix of the browns in there. So that's the tangerine. I'm gonna put the browns up. Leave the blue out. I don't wanna try to get that sky a little more under control. But they have four really nice browns. There's a vanilla, a caramel, and then two cinnamon okay so let's get this going and then let's put this all right i'll put that circle in there and now I'm going to, well, first I'm going to take some alcohol. I'm going to try to move some of this down. And out. Then I'm going to put some blue in. I want to get some of that blue back. That's pretty round. I'm gonna clean out. Let me use the brush. I'm still getting a little mess that I want cleaner. An alcohol pad. Oh, I know what I need to use. Hello, I forgot I bought them. I totally forgot I bought these for this purpose. And you can see I got that all the way back down to the white. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on my brush. It's 
Some of this is super gummy right in here. So I'm just gonna lift a lot of that gumminess out. And then come back in. And clean the circle up again. Okay, now yeah, we should be able to put I think marker might work better too, to be honest. Because I'm getting that same green that I don't want. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'll check chat in just a minute. Okay, so let's. I'm going to tilt it just so the blue doesn't go all the way in with the tangerine. Let's try this way. Right, let's put the ink kind of away from the sun. Decent circle. And then kind of push back there. Kind of clean up. That's not too bad, I don't think. Okay, set that aside, cap that, put it up. I do like the markers. Cap. Put those caps on those inks. I'm gonna throw those away. I need to clean up because I'm getting a lot of trash around me. I can't stand that. What time is it? Two, I need to check. Well up. Chat, chat. All right, these are dry enough. Let's see what we can do on one of these. And it's going to probably have to be kind of tone on tone, I'm thinking. And hello to anybody I missed who came in.
Okay. Let's do some of the, like I said, we'll just do some tone on tone. Get the blues in the marabou. And we'll get the rainbow in the marabou. And I may go ahead and throw that same deep olive in there. I'm going to kind of keep that. It is still going to kind of soak in the wood a little. So I don't know how it's going to pull up. And move. Trying to get some ink built up on the that I can get silver on, and then we'll add some alcohol. Okay, let's try that real quick. A little more. There. All right, let's see what foil we can get on the wood. Yeah, I got decent. I got some decent silver foil on there. It's globs more than lines, but I did get some foil in there. That'll give me something to, to build on. Let's put alcohol on the edge of that too and see what we can. Got some movement there. Two, just so we can get some movement.
let's come in with that green. I'm not going to use the olive green. This green's working good. Let's come in here with the light blue again and the alcohol. All right, now I'm going to come in with some silver again. Get some more silver. Hoping I can get more lines. Yeah, I'm just getting. Because of the surface of the wood, I think. I'm getting silver, but I'm getting less lines and more just areas. Okay, let's try this down here. Actually, I want to try this up here too. Alcohol. Try to get the wispy look on the. like that soft now and now we need some of this color in here too give it and the lighter Put some alcohol right in here. Let's sit for a minute. Let's see if I can get that lighter color in here to show up. There's some. Just add my dark spots back in here and there. Let's see if we want to add any more. Let me dry that real quick because otherwise I'll just get rid of it. All right, I am. I think that turned out kind of cool. I'm just put a clear coat on it. It does not move as easily by far as the paper. 
Okay, let's cap all these. Oh, I didn't put any rainbow. Let's put some rainbow. That probably will not show up. on the camera. I'm just sort of sticking it in the middle areas. Um, like I said, I don't know if that's going to show up. The silver shows up. It's really hard to see the shimmer. You might see a little of it if I rock it. So in person, the, it just glows like the middle part is got glitter on it. In that center. So the rainbow stuff is pretty cool. I'm happier with the Marabou's now that I've kind of figured them out a little more and I like that I can not they can not move at times and then they can move so they all have their you know quirks all right let's take the pink disc let's try to do something a little Let's go pinata. Okay, this is diluted pinata pink. Let's try to get some little drips going okay then let's get it now let's take the diluted <coughs> pinata orange or the cranberry let's take some diluted cranberry and try to spread that a little. And let's put some real cranberry. In places. Add some more. To, I'm just trying to get some movement because it does just sort of sit in that wood and absorb it. All right, let's. I want a few areas that are darker, and I want some more areas that are truly. Magenta. All right, let's do the orange. And the real. Pinata orange. And let's see if we blow on that what we can get.
kind of like that is the top. Okay, let's take some of the diluted. Let's see if we can. Get some variation. some of that color down here. Maybe go more orange down here. some straight alcohol. It goes with the grain of the wood. Boy, that pink really comes out pink. Elaine, I know, I mean, Eileen, I know you're hating this. areas and some lighter areas. To me it's kind of like clouds. Let's try some orange up here and see if that does it. Help soften that pink. Let's try. I want more magenta like organic. It's really hard to get. It doesn't go with the grain. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Let's let that sort of sit for a second and kind of get tacky. Let me put these away. Um, let's try. I'm going to try a little bit of this real quick. See if it doesn't soften that pink. It helps, but.
All right, so the biggest thing I've noticed with the wood is it really wants to flow with the grain of the, the wood. So it's very hard to get, not get it going. So the first thing I did was fine. If your wood was going this way, then it would kind of flow the way you wanted it. But if you don't set the grain of your wood, or if you want to do a more rounded design and less linear, then the wood's not going to be as cooperative. Is Patty on? Is she? She's early. She's supposed to be on later, I thought. Maybe not. Yeah, it's only 2.30. She was supposed to come on at 3.00. But I'm close to done. So whatever y'all need to do. All right, let's see what we can. It's not take, it's leaving the ink on the back of the foil more. But it took some. This might be a better opportunity to use some of the pinata gold. And then I'll use some of the alcohol along it. Help shatter it. All right, now I'm gonna blow straight up. I don't want it to go off the wood. I just want it to. Dry that. Let me dry it real good. And we'll see if any of this now wants to here. It really, the foil really doesn't want to come off on the wood. You can see I've got more ink on the back of the foil then. That's not bad. So if Patty's on, I'm pretty much, you know, I can be done experimenting right now. I'm all good. Check chat. See how we're going. Thanks, Judy. Well, these papers, like I said, if you came in late, this is like similar to UFO and the graphic. It's half off today and tomorrow on Amazon. So this package of 10 rounds was $4 today. Normally it's eight. The nine by 12, I believe was eight, normally 16. That's today and tomorrow. Narya is out of India. 
Um, I don't think I would. I mean, I'll probably use the rest of the rounds for something, but I'll probably do acrylics on them. The little wooden rounds or collage. I didn't care for the inks on the wood. Uh, that just soaks up too much. So I'll probably. Yeah, that is a good deal, isn't it, Button? 50% off today and tomorrow, the 10th and the 11th of August, for those of you watching the video. So I'll be on Tuesday with Beth and Colleen, and we're painting the duck. Um, I'm going to use watercolor or ink tints. So I start school Thursday with the kids back Thursday. So I'll see you next Saturday. Patty's going to stream tomorrow too sometime, but I think Shauna, if she's feeling better, will also stream tomorrow. No problem. Yeah, I'm happy with what I got on the wood. I just don't, it doesn't move very well and it stains. So once you put something somewhere, it's harder to, well, that color of uh, pink really stains bad. But I don't think alcohol inks on wood is the best straight to wood, which because it's too porous and the grain. But since I had them. All righty, guys, I'm going to go. So y'all go on over to Patty's and check out Joan's new stencils. I think the sale ends tomorrow. And I will be at uh, best probably for a little bit, not a lot. 